Hi everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. This is going to be the last enjoyable episode of the series. Now, I should clarify, it's not going to be the last enjoyable episode of the series for you. You guys still have free bonus videos that you're going to enjoy watching a lot. However, this is going to be the last one that's going to be enjoyable for me to record. We have free bonus bosses left, so we'll be devoting one video to each of the bonus bosses. Now, the one we are taking on today is actually really great. It is by far the best bonus boss in this game, and honestly one of my favorite bonus bosses in the whole series. The other two are completely hot garbage and terribly designed in every single way. And of course we're saving those two for last. I was thinking about saving this one for last, but I think I, like, I physically am going to need to beat this one first, at least before one of them, otherwise I'm not sure if I'll be able to beat one of the other bonus boss fights. More on that potentially at the end of this video. So, let's just... I'm just gonna enjoy and savor every moment that we have for this episode, knowing the horror that awaits me in the next two videos. And this will also give you guys something to look forward to. So, we're taking on the next bonus boss today, and we're gonna start it out in the same order that we always do, easiest to hardest. So we start out with Aqua, then Ventus, then Terra. Let's go, Aqua. So here we are, back at the Mirage Arena again. So we have our deck of Thunder Surges and Kiragas, and realistically, we will probably be end, end up using this deck for this next fight. But at the very least, I'm gonna try a different deck first. So we're gonna equip deck 3. We haven't really used this for much, and we'll set up our deck. So we want Magic Hour. I'm basically gonna go for the unique Aqua Commands. Do we have Barrier Surge? We do not. Cool. Um. Alright, well, definitely Magic Hour, that's for sure. We'll also do triple Fyraga and triple Blizzaga. We'll have two Kiragas, potentially. How about Seeker Mine? That's an Aqua exclusive. And do we have another one that's Aqua exclusive that we could use? That actually would be okay. If only we had Barrier Surge. No, you know what? I'm gonna get a Barrier Surge, and I'm gonna get it to max level before this, because I care that much. There you go, folks. I bought Barrier Surge, and I leveled it up to max level just in preparation for this, uh, battle. Also, we gotta make sure our action commands are configured properly, because this is a different deck, so we want regular Cartwheel. We do not want Homing Slide. We want Renewal Barrier. We want Payback Surge. Cool. No Teleport either. That's great. Then for our Shot Lock, eh, probably Light Bloom. I mean, Light Bloom is super powerful, and if it breaks it too much, then maybe I'll choose something else, but doesn't really matter. And yeah, Teleporting McGee as our finish command, yeah, that's probably for the best. As, as funny as Santa's Revenge is, it's probably not necessary. Anyways, so here we go, Arena Mode. Now that we are Arena Level 30, we have access to the final Arena Challenge, and that is... Peering into Darkness. That little silhouette gives us an idea of just what we'll be facing. It's a 5 out of 5 risk, 1 round, bonus challenge, down to the wire, finish the battle within 25 minutes. Now, I don't know about you, but when I look at that, that fills me with dread. Except it actually doesn't. You might think this, like, what the heck, how long is this fight going to be if it's this is the challenge? No, it's not a case of, like, this fight is, like... Really, really long. It's more a case of they're just ridiculously generous with the bonus challenge. This guy can easily be beaten within the 10 minute mark. No question. And honestly, if you know what you're doing, you can beat him in like 3 to 5 minutes. He is tough, don't get me wrong. But also, this is easily my favorite fight in all of Birth by Sleep. I believe this is also a Final Mix exclusive fight. So, here we go. Move to the middle of the hub when you are ready. Let's go ahead and take on... Peering into darkness. So here we are, we're back in the land of departure. And look at that suit of armor, yep! So just as we fought Ericus's suit of armor in the last challenge, now we're fighting Xehanort's suit of armor. Final round. So first he makes this uh, dark barrier with his uh, Keyblade base. So we gotta take that out first. And yes, this is the same set of armor that Xemnas was wearing in Kingdom Hearts 2. Which is a really cool callback. So it's, it's not Xemnas' armor, it is Master Xehanort's armor. Also, the music for this fight is god tier. 
The music is Forze de la Skirita, which is a combination of Forze del Mal, which is the Ansem boss fight music, as well as Darkness of the Unknown, which is the Zemnus boss music. Which is fitting, because Ansem and Zemnus are basically two halves of Xehanort. And it is amazing. Oh, wow. And yeah, he summons a bunch of dark keyboards at us to take us down. Oh, yeah. With River Mixer, you stand no chance, Xehanort. Goodbye. <laughs> He's like, oh, great. <laughs> they defeated my wall. But now he's about to do something you never expected him to do. He throws off his wrist capes and stands up. Final round versus No Heart. Yep, this is No Heart, Xehanort's armor. And he is insanely difficult, but he's the only bonus boss that I would actually say is kind of fair. Like, he's super powerful, he's got a lot of moves that, and he can hurt you real bad. But he doesn't have anything that I would say is outright unfair. Like, he doesn't have stupidly high defense like Ar Armor of Ericus does. He can't trap you in the inescapable combo like Armor of Ericus does. Or if so, it's like extremely rare and not too bad to dodge. If he makes the pool of darkness there, uh, we're going to want to avoid that. You're also going to want to block his attacks. Oh, look, and he's using his Keyblade now as a shield again. Thankfully, because he is a dark-based boss, he takes extra damage from light attacks, like Light Bloom the Shotlock. And that's the problem with using Seeker Mine. Seeker Mine, we don't stagger from damage while we are casting it. On the one hand, this means that enemies can't interrupt it. On the other hand, that means that uh, we can die casting it, because second chance and once more get disabled. But honestly, that didn't go too bad. Let's try it again. And again, I love this boss. Again, like I've said, definitely my favorite boss in all of Birth by Sleep. One of my favorite bonus bosses of all time. He's the only Birth by Sleep bonus boss that's like hard for the right reasons. He has a huge arsenal at his... Uh, he's got a huge amount of stuff at his arsenal, but uh, it's fair. Also, if we use shot locks for this first phase, it'll speed it up a lot faster. Also, there are times where at this first phase... You'll get pulled into this dark portal at the back. You, uh, you don't want that to happen. Man, the choir for the Forze Domal part of this song is amazing. And just like that, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, Light Bloom shreds his first phase. It still does pretty good damage in the second phase as well. But it doesn't, it doesn't just be like, oh, well, there goes four of his HP bars. I also love the armor's design. Again, it's a really cool callback to the Xemnas armor from the final boss of Kingdom Hearts 2, but I love how it has, like, the crown on top, like he's declaring himself the king. Magic Hour's probably a bad idea. Okay, yeah, we, uh... Okay, we're not using Magic Hour. <laughs> Attacks that allow you to hit multiple times that don't stagger from damage, probably not the best idea to use against bonus bosses. What could we use instead? We could try... Well, no, I'll save some. Let's... No, Time Splicers, I think we're going to run into a similar issue. Um... Okay, instead of Seeker Mine, we're going to equip Mine Square. We can keep Barrier Surge, that's fun. We can keep Triple Fyraga, Triple Blazaga, that's fun as well. Um... Raging Storm, I think we're also going to run into the same problem. You know what? Let's equip some ice cream. Why not? Let's equip some ice cream. We got the Donald Fizz ghost. Oh, no, I don't like good that. No. Um. <laughs> we, could, we could equip Fabra Cadabra. That would be funny. No, you know what? <laughs> We're equipping Fabra Cadabra. Which, yes, that is a great name for ice cream. And uh, what else? We'll also equip Fundiga Shot. <laughs> I just love the name Fabricadabra. It's one of the rare ice cream names that I actually remember after all this time. 
Mainly because speedrunners use Fabricadabra a lot to beat the game really quickly. It's actually really good. <laughs> Especially in a level 1 run. But I'll get to that if I ever do a level 1 run. Alright. First phase, just shot lock through it. No big deal. I also want to point out, this part of the boss fight has so much stuff flying at you all at once, it lags the game, even if you're on a PS4. So I can only imagine what this would be like if you played it on the PS4 version. Again, not sure if this fight was in the PSP version or not. I do know this fight was Final Mix exclusive, but I... Final Mix might have been on the PSP, but I don't think so. I don't know. Get up off your butt, no heart. And fight me. Eventually, I'll just switch over to the Thunder Surge command, and that makes the fight really great. Yeah, he doesn't just sw swing the Keyblade around. He also has uh, plenty of kicks and punches at his disposal, too. But I have Teleporty McGee. And yeah, look at that health bar. He has the highest amount of HP out of any of the bonus bosses. Even more than Monstro. I was about to be like, where is he? Oh, hey, I didn't even need the Fabric Cadaver to go into this command style. And he's kind of doing his own version of Sonic Impact. Yeah, way to, way to nail with that Aqua. Oh, no, not Ghost Drive. I don't want this one. Actually, no. Because most of his attacks you can guard, it's actually not that big of a deal. Also, he can inflict you with weird status effects. Ones that you haven't really seen before. Like, uh... There's a status effect where you just basically can't move. You can still, like, cartwheel to avoid attacks, but you can't move. Basically, avoid the Portal of Darkness when he uh, creates it. That's not gonna be good. This is also a fight where Mind Square really shines. Because he doesn't really stagger from damage, which means he'll just dish <laughs> run right over all the mines. Alright, if I can enter the uh, Spell Weaver command style again, I'm gonna eat a Fabric and Aberrant instantly use the finisher. Triple Bazaga actually doing some decent damage. Oh, Rhythm Mixer, yes. And it's great because counterattacks build up your command gauge quickly, so we can just kind of keep guarding and doing counter blast. Build up the finisher and oh yeah, you're oh you're <laughs> look at that HP bar drop. Not even No Heart is immune to the power of the Rhythm Mixer. Holy moly, we might not even need Thunder Surge for this. Oh, when he does that, cartwheel like crazy. That is his super explosion attack. And if he does it, he reduces your HP and your focus gauge to zero. Or one HP if you have second chance once more. And he sets all of your commands on recharge. Yeah, it's really, really annoying, but you can dodge it. So it's, I'd say, still fair. Plus again, because he doesn't really have any super unfair attacks, so you can... You can, once you know his patterns, you can counter them. Okay. Ouch. Okay. See, that, that one inflicted me with the stun status effect right there. So I couldn't cartwheel out of the way or heal. But again, that was also a hugely telegraphed attack. I easily could have gotten out of there. Alright, alright. It's been fun, but... Let's go back to Thunder Surge, the deck. While Thunder Surge is, like, super broken, I actually think for this fight... Yeah, it, it makes it pretty, it makes it a lot easier. I still don't think... It doesn't, like, break the fight. It doesn't make the fight effortless by any means. You still need to be good and on your feet and know how to do things. But it will make the fight a lot safer. So, here we go. <laughs> Nothing but Thunder Surge, which also means more Rhythm Mixer. <laughs> here we go, no heart. 
This is also a fight where Renewal Block slash Renewal Barrier really is good. Thunder Surge is also great because we can just dash through his Keyblades or Dark Volley Blasts. But as you can see, like, it's not doing a huge amount of damage, it just makes the fight a bit safer. Speaking of a huge... Ghost Drive! Oh, that's right, because I did the counterattacks, that's why. Okay, here we go. Maxed out Light Bloom. Let's see what damage it does. It does nothing because he has his shield up. But we got rid of his shield because of this. <laughs> he and I blocked at the same time. No, but like he has all the same stuff up his arsenal pretty much that we do. It's a pretty fair and balanced fight. I can't believe they don't have more Birth by Sleep fights like this. It's great. It's so awesome. Cinematic, epic music. Fair, challenging, fun. Which is exactly what a Kingdom Hearts uh, bonus boss should be. Okay. No more counterattacking. I want to go to Rhythm Mixer. I wish you could rename the command styles. If I could, I would absolutely rename R Rhythm Mixer the Shrek Rave. Yes, that's a thing. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm not stepping in that darkness. Oh, maybe I am. Uh-oh. No, no, no. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a lot of damage! You kick me no heart? How dare you. Yeah, if you get stuck in that portal of darkness, uh, you're gonna get inflicted with a couple status effects. Probably won't be able to move. And uh, yeah, it's not good. Actually, I'll demonstrate. So now I just run crazy fast for some reason. So that actually is a little bit of a good thing. It also just makes it a little harder to control. Yeah, get away from that attack. If you're far enough away, it won't affect you. But as you can see, like my thunder I can't control my thunder surges now, so they're a lot worse. Uh-oh. Darn it. <laughs> got hit by his slam attack. <laughs> but here's the thing. Whenever I die to no heart, it always feels like it was my fault. It never feels like I was like, oh, the game just threw some unfair mechanic at me. Like, it always feels like it's my fault, which I love. That's exactly how it should be.
eat my rhythm mixer. Oh, he's doing a good job of eating my rhythm mixer. No Heart does not like these new fangled DJ songs. <sighs> Time that well, yeah, I can't move right now. <laughs> can't catch me. He's like, I don't need to. I have Dark Volley. <laughs> Yeah, let's stand in the middle of the portal of darkness. That sounds like a good idea. Uh-oh. Haha, my light bloom reaches you! No, no, no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you accidentally block there, it's a good chance that he slams you and you die. Bye bye! Oh man, I love that fight. That fight is so good! You win! Final arena challenge done. Yeah, we beat it in 5 minutes, not 25. And we get 1,000 medals for that. And we get 2,000 medals for that if you get the bonus. So yeah. Once you unlock this, this is the way to metal grind. But beforehand, Monstro is the way. And we get the Royal Radiance Keyblade, the most powerful of Keyblades. When equipped, it increases the speed at which the command gauge fills. This is why I grabbed, I beat this guy before the other two bonus fights. Because I have a feeling we're going to need this weapon against them. So yes, ultimate weapon. You think that's the ultimate weapon, right? Nope. Royal Radiance, 8 strength, 7 magic. Maul reach, and you get the command gauge filled faster. Your your commands do not reload faster, but rather you get to the command style finishers, the command style entrances, as well as your finish command more quickly with this equipped. So yeah, this is this is the best keyblade in the game. Even more than the freaking Ultima weapon. Try to figure that out. So we have the Giga Magic recipe, and now that we just got 2,000 medals, we can get the Giga Attack or the Giga Attack recipe as well. There we go. Thank you. I appreciate it. So there we go. That's No Heart as Aqua, but we still have to face off against No Heart as the other two characters as well. Alright, here we are as Ventus in his new fancy blue platinum armor. So, once again, we will choose a different deck. Oh, <laughs> deck number three, yes. We got a lot of work here. So first, let's figure out what commands we want. So, we want some Ventus exclusive commands. So, Ars Arcanum. Where's Faith? We definitely want Faith as well. Yeah, for sure. I'll also equip a Kiraga. Because we want some backup. I'm pretty sure all of these are going to be terrible ideas against him. But I want to try it anyways. We'll also try Time Splicer. And then Wind Raid. These are all Ventus, Ventus specific. We want High Jump. We want Regular Dodge Roll. Air Slide is good. We do not want Reversal, but we do want Super Glide. We want Renewal Block. Counter Rush. Payback Raid. And I think that's going to be it. Yep. 
And then for a shot lock, let's go multi vortex. It's always fun. All right, we've got Ventus outfitted with his Ve the Ventusist commands that we have. So here we go. We are also arena level 30, and we can go peering into darkness again. Same requirements that Aqua had. Let's go. All right. He's like, didn't I just kill you? But now we do it as Ventus. Final round. Hey, move a little lower to the ground, please. Time Splicer will be good at this part. <laughs> I have a feeling if we use Time Splicer, we'll die in the second phase, but... Oh, Ween Blade, yes! <laughs> oh, that was... Okay, I don't care. That was a really cool first phase. We use the power of light. He's a like, power of light. That's stupid. You want the power of darkness. That moment, everyone gains it until he stands up. Final round versus No Heart. We okay. Really, Wind Raid kill gets us killed. I expected this from the other commands, but Wind Raid? I thought Wind Raid we would at least get knocked out of. Oh, forget this. Alright. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Let's go back to deck number one. However, we will do a slight difference here. Aqua just had the Thunder Surges. Let's also put in some Mind Squares, too. In lieu of the second Thunder Surge. Mind Square is also great, and it has basically the same advantage. There we go. All right, all right. That one was just kind of the warm-up. Ours Arcanum, Fave, all of that, they were going to get us killed against No Heart, but I wanted to take them out, at least for the first phase. It would be nice if Second Chance and Once More were active during those, though. That would be cool. Oh, that HP bar. It's not as devastating as Light Bloom was, but still pretty good. That's not what... Yeah, when that happens, you get locked on by the... The weird Keyblade guard, and then you've got to mash the X button to get out of there. There we go. Now we save the Rhythm Mixer finisher for the second phase. <laughs> all right, all right. That was that was a good start. Now you'll see me at my true power. Well, that took out over a bar of his HP. This guy will be a little bit trickier as Ventus, because uh, block is just inherently not as good as barrier. Still useful, though. Uh-oh. I forgot about that move. Don't let the Keyblades hit you. Oh, I was gonna use Fly You Fools on it. See, no matter how many times I play this game, this guy still offers a good challenge.
Darn it! He perfectly... <laughs> he perfectly attacked past my guard. That was good. I gotta hand it to No Heart on that one. Ooh! Multi Vortex does so much damage against him. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, shoot. That was weird. Why did it not do my counter rush? I guarded his attack, then pressed X. But instead of doing the counter attack, which has invincibility frames, it did regular combo, which does not. It's a little weird. to save the day. Ooh, now that's a good amount of damage. That's the big problem when you're not playing as Aqua, is that he can kind of dash right behind you and attack you while you're guarding. As Aqua, that'll still guard. As Ventus and later Terra, it will This Keyblade didn't have enough reach. Oh! Oh shoot, he grabbed me! Even on our, like, 20th attempt, he still has more moves up his sleeve that we haven't seen. Too bad we can't D-Link in the fight. Dude, this guy's relentless. He's just going for the jugular. Now, I'm gonna try to shot lock him from a distance. Oh, yeah. That's gonna rack up a bunch of damage. I am Ventus. I am the wind. 
Did I mention that I absolutely love the invincibility frames that Thunder Surge gives you? Because I do. Bye bye! <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. We got to take him down with the giant cyclone that Ventus makes in his multi vortex shot lock. That was great. You win! Oh man, 4 minutes 30 seconds. Ventus beat it faster than Aqua did. And 2,000 medals are mine. And we get the Royal Radiance Keyblade. A fitting end for getting everything in the arena. Yeah, we're equipping that right away. Alright, what do we still have? Oh, we don't have the Giga Attack Recipe? Well, let's buy that. <laughs> we have 99 of almost every single other one. Oh yeah, there are all these tickets here that I never explained. It basically lets you, yeah, and it lets you enter the Treasure Tussle event once regardless of arena level. Once you're at the certain arena level that you can go in there, it's pointless. It's kind of pointless regardless because um, you need to pay a lot of medals to get one. And leveling up your arena level really isn't that difficult. It just requires you to play Rumble Racing and the Command Board. I know you might not want to hear that, but it is an easy way. And alright, now we just have Terra left. Alright, so I mentioned that No Heart was my favorite fight in the game, but I want to specify. Terra versus No Heart, specifically, my favorite fight in the game. Normally, Terra sucks for the bonus bosses, and it's definitely way harder to fight this guy's Terra than the others. But I think this is also probably the most fair fight in the game. You can't just spam your dodge rolls to get away from everything. You gotta actually be really strategic and dodge and block accordingly. And that makes for kind of the ultimate challenge. So I'm actually really excited for this. So we could use ultimate weapon. We're still using Chaos Ripper because it's great. And I know for the time being, I am just going to equip another deck with a bunch of commands that will get me killed. Whatever. I don't care. We go Chaos Blade. Or not, no, not Chaos Blade. Actually, yeah, Chaos Blade. We'll go Chaos Blade. We'll go Ars Solom. We'll go... Oh, I know. We'll go Dark Firaga. We could go Quake or Meteor. Oh man, Quake is m minimum level? Uh-oh, that's not good. We'll go Meteor, and then one Kiraga. We are absolutely gonna die. No question we are going to die. But that's the deck that I'm choosing. We're also equipping High Jump. We're equipping Air Slide. Not Sonic Impact. We're equipping Slide. We're equipping Renewal Block. Counter Hammer and Payback Thane. As for Shot Lock, gotta go Ultima Cannon. It's the ultimate. Alright, here we go. We are absolutely gonna die to this, but I can't help it. I wanna use the Terra specific commands just to show off how cool they are and how these commands will absolutely get you killed. But at the very least, it'll make the first part of the fight really cool. <laughs> Here we go. So we're probably gonna kick butt in the first phase, but uh, after that, probably not. You're, done. You're aiming the wrong way, buddy. Right, well, I got Dark Firaga ready for you. Wow, never mind. Died in the first phase. I thought Meteor you were supposed to be invincible while you were casting. Clearly not. No, but no joke. Terra vs. No Heart, my absolute favorite fight in Birth by Sleep. One of my favorite fights in Kingdom Hearts. So well done. Here we go. This time... You're done. There we go! <laughs> Ultima Cannon says no. <laughs> He's like, what the heck is this thing I'm facing? <laughs> Just pulled out a bazooka? Alright. 
The kid gloves are coming off. Literally. Final round versus No Heart. Well, we're dead. <laughs> well, it was fun while it lasted. Alright, alright. We'll equip the, the good deck. But we're still gonna edit it. Still want Ultima Cannon. And what else? Uh, okay, I'm gonna replace some of these with Sonic Blade. I will probably change it back, but I at least want to try it out. I don't have Sonic Impact. Good. You do not want Sonic Impact for this fight. Or pretty much any serious fight in the game. Because again, it makes it harder to slide dash around. And if you accidentally do Sonic Impact, it basically gives no invulnerability frames and you will probably die if you're trying to avoid a uh, deadly attack. I want to see if Sonic Blade is actually viable against this guy. I don't think it is, but it never hurts to try. Out of all the Shalocks in the game, Ultima Cannon is definitely the coolest looking. Also folks, Terra has the potential to finish this fight the fastest out of everybody. Mainly due to his Ultima Cannon, which just absolutely obliterates the first phase. Wow, there's just nothing left. It was just a nuke. <laughs> just like how I finished Terran Horde as Terra. Like, is there a faster way of getting through that first phase than that? I would love to see that. <laughs> okay. So he can easily dodge out of the way of that, so maybe it's not the best. Good job, Terry. You faced the wrong direction. Oh wow, look at him zip around. Okay, Ultima Cannon does not do as much damage to him as I would have hoped. Submit! And remember, folks, dash plus Thunder Surge equals max iframes. Okay, we are not using Sonic Blade. <laughs> That's weird. You're normally supposed to get knocked out of Sonic Blade while you're using it, but not, but not that time. Oh well, that's fine. We'll just go back to the ideal deck of four Thunder Surges then. For Terra, th this really is the only way. Also, okay, as much as I love Ultima Cannon, it's not that good against No Heart himself. We're going to switch over to Photon Charge. See if that does better. If, if it doesn't do better, then we'll switch back to Ultima Cannon so we can just obliterate the first phase. But I think Photon Charge will be a little bit better against his second phase, which is the main one that I'm concerned with. Otherwise, we will change back. That still does good damage against the first phase, though. Oh yeah! Good job, Terra. Photon Charge still proves that they're no match for you. And here we go. Final round versus no
Well, shoot. <laughs> Man, he seems to be able to read your guards pretty well. Okay, that was so weird. I guard it. I was guarding, but all of it just pierced through my guard. Damaged me anyways, and then it wouldn't let me cure afterwards. I do not know what was going on with that. Oh, you think you can just you can warp around? I can warp around too. Oh yes, I love doing this. Gotta preserve my rhythm mixer so I can get to the finisher. This is also why I like spreading my Thunder Surgers and Kiragas and having them alternate instead of lumping them all in one place. That way it's never a far away from here. Here we go. Wow, you're picking up Terra like it's nothing. That's impressive strength, no heart. No cap. Can outrun Photon Charge. Yeah, but like knowing when to attack, when to block, when to dodge, when to heal, when to Thunder Surge. It's it's a it's a, a really good fight. You gotta think on your feet. That's bad. Darn it. Ah. You block at the wrong time when he's in the air? Oof, yeah, you're dead. You can't make careless mistakes. But, at the very least, if you don't make mistakes, you'll win. This is also a fitting fight because it's kind of like Terra going up against the guy who stole everything from him. Similar to his final boss fight. Hey, no heart. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. <laughs> this is a finisher that actually can be really good against No Heart, because No Heart's always gonna be just kind of next to you. So chances are if you just drop the rocks off right next to you, he'll probably get hit by them. Yikes. Remember, partial shot locks can be good too. Not as good as max shot locks, but if you only have a little bit of time, better to do a partial uh, shot lock than to try to charge for a full one and get knocked out of it. Nice try, no heart. <laughs> that dodge through the black wave was really good. Like I said, do not get caught in that explosion or 1 HP, no focus gauge, all commands have to recharge back from the beginning. It's truly a devast- it's the most devastating attack in the game, pretty much. Uh-oh. Hey, we actually survived that attack for once, though. You fool, every time you damage me, I can do more shot locks. <laughs> oh my gosh! The fast forward that I got from the, uh, oh jeez! I'm too fast! 
can't control. Uh oh. That's not good. That's why you don't want to get hit by it. Oh, great, and I can't move. Thank goodness for renewal block. <laughs> That's bad, darn it. You're done. I'm putting some dirt in your eye. Oh, shoot. He has a shield up. He's wearing sunglasses. I can't put dirt in his eye. I also love how, like, because we can both do, like, the dash attack things, it almost looks like a bit of a dance. You're done! You're done. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. <laughs> I can't even see. Just like you won't be able to see when I put the dirt in your eye. It's like we're mirror mirroring each other's attacks. It's a fiend of glory. It makes it feel like it's two guys on equal skill level fighting it out. We all know those make for the best fights. No, 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 no! Ah! It's always the stun attack! Always! Also, I want to point out, no heart is an anagram of another, which is the password that Xemnas typed into the computer in Kingdom Hearts 2. Also, if you take the letters in no heart, scramble them around and add an X, which is what they do for the organization for team members, you can get Xehanort. Just a cool little trivia tidbit. Also, the setting of this fight is great, too. Land of Departure, this room in particular, with the stained glass windows, looks like... Kind of like a chapel, almost. And I am a sucker for good chapels. You... Are you... Are you serious? How was I not out of reach of that? Wow, he is spamming those stupid keys. Granted, I'm also spamming Thunder Siri, but I just want to get to my Rhythm Mixer finisher, man. Alright, dude. Prepare to suffer. From really loud music. This game got one thing right. There is nothing more painful than listening to really loud music. 
nothing. Except maybe getting shot in the face of a giant keyboard bazooka. That's also gotta hurt. Didn't realize he was in the air preparing to do that, so that was just pure luck that I got through that. <laughs> He's like, I, I'm gonna guard too. You can also Thunder Surge for that attack. Still think four Kiragas are overboard? Nope. No, they're not. You gotta have them. Yeah, get that HP down. Oh, if we can get Rhythm Mixer, we'll finish him. And by that, I mean the Rhythm Mixer finisher. How okay, again, why do couldn't I guard those? Oh, no, you don't. He's like, well, it's getting to that time again. It's time for me to do the stun slam attack. Eat my bazooka! I really wanted to finish that fight by putting dirt in his eye, but it, it, <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> That's okay. Keyboy Bazooka is another great way to go. You win! Wow! Aqua beat him the slowest in terms of the actual winning round. And here we get the Royal Radiance Keyblade for Terra, which, um, guess what, folks? It's still not as powerful as the Chaos Ripper. It has nine additional magic, so... It can be good, and the increased command gauge is also great, because that also means we get to put dirt in people's eyes even faster than before. Unfortunately, still not as strong as the Chaos Ripper, which is amusing. So we're going to keep the Chaos Ripper for the time being. <laughs> wow, so yeah, that was, no, that was no heart. Definitely one of my favorite fights in the Kingdom Hearts franchise, and by far the best design bonus boss in this. Really, really tough. Really, really challenging. Very difficult. Very difficult, but also very fun and fair. And just everything about that fight, the visuals, the setting, the music, chef's kiss. And I better savor that because the next two fights are absolutely horrible. Now, the next fight we will be doing, it's horrible, but I at least know how to do it. So it shouldn't be too bad. But the final fight, the one I'm saving for the final video, let's just say... If you've played this game before, you know the pain I'm about to face. Especially since I have to beat that fight as every character. That's gonna be rough. But, that's a problem for future already to solve. And you guys won't have to do it. You just get to watch the pain. So, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, tune in next time. We're gonna be staring into the entrance of hell, I do believe. So forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.